Hey guys, it's MakeIC, and welcome to a new major event in The Simpsons Tapped Out. It's a science-themed event, and I know obviously there was a bit of a, a preview for it, but I don't know too much about it, honestly, other than that. So we got Professor Frank here that says, Ladies and gentle flavins, mark this day on your calendar. Okay, let me just see what the date is today. It is August 16th, 2016. So, alright, we have done that, okay? For today begins a glorious new age of scientific discovery. Sorry, I already marked it as Taco Tuesday, and they wrote it in pen. Sir, I don't actually care about your salsa stained calendar. I was trying to sound dramatic. Try harder. Very well. Behold, my latest invention, drum roll please, with the drumming and the rolling and the polyvac. Neat! What is it? Some kind of supercomputer controlled particle detector for studying black holes? Actually, little girl, it's a supercomputer controlled... Uh, yeah, exactly. What she said. Build the polyvac. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I'm like, cool, man. Let's click the eye. Dark Matters Part 1 of your Vanity Rating. Okay. Ooh, that's so fancy looking. Ah, the leg, it's real. Just give me a second here. Right there. So, I'm not exactly the smartest guy with science, so hopefully I understand some of the stuff they're talking about. So that's where buildings come from. Now, all we need to study a black hole is a, a black hole to study. Black holes suck. Bart, watch your language, unless you meant that as a scientific observation. Rest assured, madam, I did not. The potty mouth lad is correct. Black holes absorb, or collectively coal <sighs> Professor Frank, will you stop with the damn big words? Suck everything within the event horizon. Damn it. I hate accidentally making scientific observations. Professor, is it safe to have a black hole within just a few squares of our school's and peanut carts? Relax, Marge. He's a scientist. He wouldn't ask us to do anything dangerous. Quite right, Homer. Now grab a mouthful of that plutonium over there and spit it into this boiling acid to initiate the black hole implosion. I'm way ahead of you. Make Homer split plutonium into acid to form the black hole. But I have a black hole. Already. Does that mean we're actually going to get the black hole item and a super collider again? Six seconds, okay. I wish it was a shooter game. Oh, he just like teleported. I feel like this is going to be really awesome. Here we go. Hey, there it is! Now, using the polyvac, I will prove once and for all nothing can escape the black hole. But didn't the great physicist Stephen Hawking theorize that black holes emit particles known as Hawking radiation? Hawking schmocking! I'm sick of that know it all with his fancy awards and his show off chair. There's not such a thing as Hawking radiation. That's not what I heard. Who said that in a strangely familiar computerized voice? Hey, you! Dude! You know who that is? I'm gonna put that on a loop forever. Intelligence is the ability to tap for change. Stephen Hawking. So I guess we'll have a good idea of all the different characters here. So we've got Stephen Hawking, Sergeant Skinner. We got older Bart, older Lisa. Who is that? Is that, oh, that must be some kind of Stephen Hawking robot. I've never seen it before. We've got Homer and Lisa as a, what? I don't recognize the last two at all. Hmm. Great seizures, Gloivin. It's Stephen Hawking. But how did you get here? I see you're being all nice to him suddenly. 
Are you one of those people who are who talk bad behind someone's back and then when you're in front of them, you're all nice to them? I don't like people like you, Professor Frank. The Hawking radiation condensed into a physical manifestation of Hawking himself. Thereby conclusively proving the existence of my namesake radiation. Now I'm sure to win the Nobel Prize and maybe even more prestigious Hawking Medal. I've never even won the Frank Medal. I surmise black holes are actually terminal endpoints of wormholes leading to parallel universes. We'll need someone brave and expendable to test my theory. Not me, buddy. I'm sick of doing tasks. How come Mole Man never has to do anything? Because he's premium, you dumb blockhead. Speaking of blockhead, I watched the Peanut movie uh, yesterday. That was a damn good movie. Yes, pick me, please. I beg you. This sounds like a job for Homer Simpson. Uh, okay. But I swear, crawling into singularity is the last task I'll ever do. Probably. Now wiggle on in there. Yeesh, this wormhole is kind of tight. Can you let out the event horizon a little? I said wriggle. Wriggle through the wormhole. What the? Alright. Well, it's better than my normal. Hey, job. you didn't teleport. You. So let me click this again because I know I kind of did it automatically before, so. Hey, that sounds different. Doesn't it? Whoa! It's getting bigger. Woohoo! Quitting time! I hope you're happy, Hawking. I proved your theory correct. I made it through the wormhole and lived three lifetimes in another dimension. And all I missed was Taco Tuesday. This is the worst day of my lives. You poor guy. The multiverse is ripe for the exploration. So much work to do. Homer, imagine all the work you've ever done, then multiply it by infinity. Zero times infinity? How much is that? About 37. Get busy. 37 <laughs> experiments. Ah, oh, it's funny. Forget it, egghead. No more tasks for me. From now on, whenever anyone sends me on a task, I'm going to refuse. Make Homer refuse to do a task. Is this going to be like something really different? No, I refuse. Hehe. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Do. I've got to get more clever here. To be truly lazy, I'll need to assemble an all-star team of super dupes to take over my workload. The science people? The nerds? No, but maybe one of the alternate homers are nerds. Hey! Another six seconds? Well, it's better than my normal job. My god. Wow. I've been recording for that long already and I haven't even started the event yet. This is going to be a long video, guys. I think it got a little bigger. I'm talking about the hole, guys. Almost, I'm on my way. I'm back. Or should I say, we're back. Meet the alternate universe's all-star. Hello. Chobbed. What's up, ho bro? Chewing and belching sounds. Clarg. Wow, two of them couldn't speak at all, yet they still seem slightly smarter than Dad. Speak better than I do. This is awesome! It really, really is, by the way. A small army of homers, and I'm the average guy, which makes me the best. You're the best at nothing. Me? I can overeat better than anyone here, and check on my excellent figure. In my universe, I'm Mr. Universe. Me pillage good. See all cool homies. I like my music and my universes to be alternative. I suppose I'm prankster of the group. Always up for a round of good nat natured criminality. Criminality. Welcome to my universe, fellas. Sorry if it's a little cheap looking. My sky finger is kind of tight with the donuts. Oh, don't sell yourself short. 
The Eastern Universe may be a bit shabby, but it is far superior to mine. Hey, shabby! You take that back! My Skyfinger only made it to level 2 before devoting his life to Candy Crush Sega. I played that game a couple times. It really wasn't my thing. I don't even have my own Marge. I have nothing but a fence post and a pathetic 1 times 1 square of flowers. But this universe is a veritable cornucopia of riches, ripe for the plucking. Mwahaha. Oh, now I recognize him. Evil Homer. Okay, that's who it was. He looked familiar the more he started talking. Make Evil Homer case the joints. Alternate Homer's fraternize. Okay. Boom. 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 Look, there's something else coming through the space sphincter. A real life robot. I am robot number one. Here comes another. I am robot number two. I wonder what the next guy's name will be. I am robot number four, but you can call me robot number three. There comes another. And another. That makes five. Quit showing up, Hawking. A beautiful army of robots from a parallel universe. What could go wrong? I said in the most sarcastic way imaginable. Which is how I say everything. So I can understand if there was some measure of confusion regarding. Robots attack. Swish. I for one welcome our new robot overlords. Fight back! Every able body, man, woman, and child. That's everyone but you! Less talking, more fighting. Here's what I'm looking for. I actually thought we were going to have to wait the four hours. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of lame. They used to do that, by the way, in events. Where you get to your point and it's like, let's get the thing to pop up and start the event, but you have to wait for like eight hours or something to do a quest for it. It sucked. This is better. So we gotta tap the robots or wipe them out with the polyvac to gain matter, which is dark matter. Accumulate matter to unlock amazing prizes. So we get, like, hologram gifts, I guess? Ooh! Wait, no, 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 not gonna look at it just yet. We might have more dialogue. Nope, not yet. I wanna look at the stuff at the end, so. He's dead. Number two's dead. Number four, which is actually number three. Hey, where are you going, Bob? Alright, one more. Swish. My homers versus your robots. They're not even my robots. Help! I'm being beaten to a king-sized pulp! It's no use. There's dozens more robots pouring out of the wormhole. Tapping isn't working, and it's your only interface. I have an idea. I have a better idea. Fire up the polyvac. Use the side fighter. What the hell? Oh, that's the side fighter. So... Oh, 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 baby. What was that flash? What is that timer? A burst of hawking radiation. I destroyed the robots, proving once again that brute force is no match for the human mind. When accompanied by a tremendously powerful particle beam weapon. Revenge. Oh god, that's not a robot voice. Revenge. I don't know how to do it now. Uh, revenge. Oh no, they're still coming. Guard the polyvac until it can recharge for another hawking burst. Guard the polyvac? What's happening? Less talking, more hawking. It's pretty clever. So defend the polyvac by tapping robots. The longer you last, the greater the payouts. So...
Did I do it? I think I won. Yay, I win. I tapped 36, which isn't a lot, unfortunately, but... We did it! We destroyed the robots! What else can we blow up? Grandpa's dentures? Martin's underwear? Ha ha! I was able to visualize that. Uh, why? I like to blow up all those things and more, but unfortunately the Polyvac has a 4 hour cooldown time. According to the uh, laws of science and what have you, most things take 4 hours. I guess that's true. Professor Hawking, can't we stop the robot invasion by just closing the wormhole? Easier said than done. I recruited a local expert on string theory to advise us, but the analysis is somewhat difficult to follow. Blah 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 string, blah 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 string. For now, our only hope is of survival is to place a highly skilled nuclear engineer in control of the polyvac. Homer, can we count on you? I'm your man! I'm really good at pressing buttons. Unless they're close together. Or far apart. Oh god, you're relying on Homer Simpson to keep us alive? I'm the only competent engineer in this entire town. It's grimy! Competent? Didn't I pass your grave already? Wow. So, we got a whole bunch of items I'm not looking at just yet. Hold on. Make Homer relax in the brown house. Make Frank Grimes prepare high voltage defenses. Huh? So it's gonna be two hours. We're gonna do that. Uh, better than my normal job. Oh, he's got another quest. How do you do? We got Grimy. What? Okay. Hey. There are piles of greasy robot guts and crankshafts all over the place now. Just sweep them into the black hole. I'm not spending a whole sci-fi update working a broom. I'll go get a mop. No, wait! Those greasy innards can be re repurposed into something profitable. It's you! It's him! Hey, who told you my Krusty Burger recipe? Build a 3D printer. Not yet, because we have another quest. I'm starting to get... My voice is getting kind of like, eh. I've been basically recording for 20 minutes, so... You can probably hear that. I'm not editing that out. No editing. What's it? Hey, Grammy, why the grave? I don't remember. I can only assume it's a sick joke at my expense. Well, I don't see anyone laughing. Uh, apparently you weren't looking at me. Make Grimy prepare high voltage defenses. Oh, no, that's not it. Is it? Oh, um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for now. A whole bunch of quests, holy moly. So let's build a 3D printer. It's free. Okay. I'll put it next to the poly back. Right. There. Heads up! Go! Kaboom! Yay! The robot parts can be used as building material for the 3D printer. Great! We can finally build that fancy car I designed. We already did that? You bankrupted me? I have 20 million of them unsold on the lot. Now let's make something more practical. Like a tiny belt to keep your sandwich from falling apart. Whatever we make, we need to play it safe this time and start with a demo, a demo version. Or better yet, 20 million demos. Make a demo. So this is... Crafting? Maybe? Future box? I'm so confused. It is crafting, okay. Alright, so I think we've got everything finally, finally, ready to go. So let's look in the inventory here. The Springfield of Tomorrow sign, that looks pretty cool. Is that one of them hologram thingies they were talking about with like gifts? You know? Giant robot! Oh my god, that looks cool. It looks really, really cool. With the clouds, I'm assuming it's really, really tall. Like, really tall. Soul Extraction Institute. Two characters for 100 donuts? So that's really, what? 50 donuts for a character. That is an incredible deal, plus you get a building. 
Oh, you can look out for a future video with that down the road. Oh, the black hole's back. Okay. So, I've got the Super Collider ready. You guys are going to have to tell me, is that a returning item? Like, is it there? Because obviously because I have it, I, I can't see it. So, we also have the hollow large hedge and the hollow small hedge. That's pretty cool. Hold on, let me, let me put one of these down. I want to see what they look like. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of. Oh my god, that's, okay, that's pretty cool actually. So finally, we're gonna look at all the stuff here. So we got the personal prizes, this follows the exact same pattern as all the other particular events that we've been getting. Sky, Skyberdeen Systems, Future Duff Sign, Simpsons Hover Car, that's pretty cool. Hollow Theater, and Sergeant Skinner. That's gonna be with, uh, Future Lisa that we saw in like the, Character thing. And then we got that, like, that dude as well. Okay. What is this? Re prevent the robot from re destroying the polyvac. Okay. What were the rewards that we got again? I don't remember what it was. What did we get for destroying the, for, for stopping the robots that one time we did it? I don't remember. Oh, and the crafting. Oh, good old crafting. Ugh, I like and I hate the crafting, but I guess we'll see just how mandatory it will be. But we got hollow tulips, so yeah, hollow tulips. Future street light. Vacation of Venus sign, that's kind of cool. Hover street sign, I, I always like things that hover. Domicile, hover bench, atomic hula hoop. That looks like one crazy building. We got the hollow tree. Is that the, is that the episode where Lisa goes to college and it's like the last tree alive or something? Or I don't know what it was. Mushroom office building. Ooh. Luminescent floor, flowers. God, no speaky. It reminds me of a particular zone in World of Warcraft. Legion's coming soon. Mobile dome. Fountain of tomorrow. Parked hover car. Parsology, retro style townhouse, it keeps going by the way, global housing, teleporter billboard, tomorrow's Costington, that's so cool, I'm gonna put it next to my other one, office towers, Homer's dream house, it's pretty cool man, is that the one that's underwater? Future buck conversion pack, and that's it, yeah that's it huh? Only. That was a lot of stuff, man. And I guess we'll see what happens as we continue on, but I'm I'm so excited for this. I mean, I know when the preview first hit, I was like, ah, I love this stuff because it's so cool. I don't know. Uh, but I think I better stop it because I've been recording for a very long time. This video is going to be pretty long, guys. Probably the longest video ever that I've done for a major event, at least for like a first part. So... I hope you guys like it. I really, really hope you guys like it. I hope you guys even get this far in the video because it's pretty damn long. So that is going to wrap it up. If you guys have enjoyed this video, which I hope you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be super duper awesome. Amazing. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, but I will see you on more of this science update. I don't even know what it's called in the future. Bye-bye, guys.